Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we're going to recap day four of Titans training camp. We'll remind you that we, uh, or the Titans, will not be on the field tomorrow as it will be a day off. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. So day four, uh, I do have some notes written down here and I'll kind of go over them. Uh, Jim Wyatt may cover a couple of them uh, while we go through here. And then at the end of the video, I'll go over some of my notes um, that I saw a couple people tweeting out. A couple Titans, you know, sources um, say and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get into it. We see everyone warming up here. Um, uh, I believe no Josh Reynolds again today. Um, uh, we'll get into couple of players um that played well a couple of them um especially the kicker situation is is kind of concerning me a little bit more uh but we will get into that a little later uh and the newest titan on team luke stalker was on uh on the field this morning so that was fantastic um great to see him immediately on the field um having an impact so um awesome to see him there uh as, as we see aj brown getting some footwork in um, today, uh, Julio's out there as well. You guys see him in the background, number two. Um, there's a little drill by AJ, uh, there. Let's keep on moving here. Uh, AJ Brown, a lot of separation is, is made right here. This is insane. Again, who is that in coverage? I'm not sure who that is, but, you know, it's AJ Brown. So, AJ Brown's going to win most of these one-on-ones, especially with, uh, with no safety in play, it's it's very tough to cover AJ Brown one on one. But there he is, a little highlight there for him. Uh, very bad news today. Briley Moore just left, um, or not just left, but left this morning on a on a practice car. So um, apparently it was a very bad knee uh, injury. He, you know, I heard some people say he was clutching his left knee, um, and he was pretty much carted off the field. Not something you want to see, especially from a guy trying to make the roster. So um, you just hate that. You hate, absolutely hate that. Um, you know, guys are given opportunities, trying to make, you know, make a great effort to make the team. Um, and, and, you know, just stuff happens, you know, stuff happens. And unfortunately, bad news, Briley Moore um, injured. I have no details on the injury, just know that he was carted off. So um, unfortunately, that was kind of upsetting for me because I, I really really want everyone to stay healthy in training camp because there's a lot of guys trying to make the cut uh, across the NFL and injuries are just a thing of, of, of sports and it happens sometimes it's you know non-contact you can't help it you know but it's just so unfortunate there uh, but we keep on going here Derek Roberson just left practice early have no idea why that was just tweeted out um, Two picks for Janoris Jenkins today, so that's a good sign. Uh, Janoris Jenkins uh, has not been, um, I don't want to say not playing well, but hasn't been playing up to par or hasn't been playing up to what I want him to and what I expect him to. Uh, but today, definitely a bounce back day for him having two picks. Um, so that's some good news there. We also see bring on Borders getting an interception today so he continues to play well continues to shine Breon Borders might be that diamond in the rough that we might see absolutely shine this year uh, for the Tennessee Titans so that's some good news we saw Julio in the press conference today I highly recommend you guys go watch that awesome stuff there talks about AJ Brown talks about fitting in on the Titans um, great stuff there recommend going and watch that uh, but we will not hear um, again he talked about a lot of stuff AJ Brown also um, was on the press conference today. He also was talking about Julio, you know, and, and the younger guys, Racy McMath, Des Fitzpatrick. He, he had some high praise for them as well. Um, you know, great stuff there, great stuff there. Uh, and this is what I was just talking about. Uh, said Racy McMath reminds him of Julio, which is some high praise there, but take it with a grain of salt because. You know, we know who Julio is. We know who Racy McMath is. Racy McMath definitely has potential, but we just have to wait and see on that. Um, let's keep on moving here. Uh, we saw Titans Amy on NFL Network with uh, Ladanian Thomas, and that was, that was pretty cool. They interviewed Julio and I believe AJ Brown. We see here. Um, I don't know if they interviewed. I think they had Julio on. I don't know if they had AJ, but then LT um, 
you know, chatted it up with Julio and AJ, so that was pretty cool. Uh, and then we see Big Jeff, one of the more underrated Titans on the team. Definitely had one of his best years last year. Just keeps getting better year after year. Uh, it looks a lot more, or I shouldn't say a lot more explosive, but it just keeps, um, you know, he looks really explosive. Um, so that's what you want to see out of your D lineman. Um, um, yeah, there was a couple of high school teams out there today. Um, I think there was a total of three high school teams and then also like a flag football team. Um, so that's awesome too. Uh, one-on-ones. Uh, this is Anthony Ferkser here. Um, let's see if I can point out some guys here for you guys. That's going to be NWI on couldn't see the number. This looks like A.J. Brown. It is A.J. Brown. I think that's the same one we saw earlier today. Uh, earlier in this video, I should say. That is... Is that Darrington Evans? I think that was Darrington Evans. This looks like... That's Des Fitzpatrick. Okay. Um, defense... I heard a lot of the, the defense played well today in 7-on-7. Seven seven. Uh, and you can see it on the one-on-one -on -one drills too. Not a lot of completions. Um... Mm. Um, but yeah, back up to, to the top with Anthony Ferkser there. Um, let's keep on moving here. Harold Landry, uh, the newer Titan John Simon and Rashad Weaver today. Uh, Bud Dupree also was elevated from the COVID-19 list, and he is on the uh, pup list now. So that's great. It's just a time will tell whenever he can get back on the field and go. Obviously, we're taking that um, very slowly, Bud Dupree. Uh, we want him to be almost 100% before we get him out there on the field. We don't want to risk of re-injury or anything like that. So definitely taking time uh, for him to recover. And especially um, with us paying him $80 million. Uh, we definitely don't want to risk injury there. So um, he isn't yet to see the field, but hopefully he'll see the field soon uh, for us. But there's your outside linebackers, Harold Landry, John Simon, and Rashad Weaver. John Simon, I think, was an excellent pickup. Uh, I think he's going to be a great, uh, a great rotator piece, a great veteran to have. Um, just like, you know, Luke Stalker. Um, very excited to have him as well. And the young guy, Rashad Weaver, as well. So, uh, you know, I think outside linebackers, uh, Harold Landry is going to take a lot of snaps off, which is fantastic. He's going to be more explosive this year. Hopefully, he'll get more sacks. We just can't drain him of his energy uh, and have him playing 90% of the snaps. That's just, you can't have that. But with the additions we made this offseason, I think he's going to be able to take some uh, snaps off. So that's going to be great stuff. Great news there. Keep on moving here. Um, Danico Autry and Big Jeff here on the sled. Um, yeah, both Mississippi State guys. Uh, honestly, did not know that Danico Autry went to Mississippi State. So now I've learned something new. But yeah, Danico Autry, Big Jeff there. It's going to be a scary duo in the middle for the Tennessee Titans. Um, Norris Jenkins, like I said, he played very good today. Had two picks um, on a day when the defense played with swagger. Like I said, the defense played very well today. Uh, very good today. So that's really good. That's what we want to see, obviously. Um, the defense has got to improve from what it was last year. Hopefully we can, and I believe we definitely can. It just depends on how much we can improve. Um, Harold Landry today as well. A couple of one-on-one -on -one works, one-on-one uh, -on -one work there. And then, again, he gets into a little interview too. So, again, if you guys want to check this out, Jim White's Twitter will be down below. Go ahead and click that link, and you will be sent right here. And then you can watch all these interviews as well. Um, <clears throat> let's keep on moving here. You see AJ and Julio there. Um, that might be the thumbnail. I don't know. It might be either Jackrabbit or this right here. But man, oh man, that's gonna be a scary duo. I, I, I you know, I've, I've talked about it a lot. But man, Julio and AJ Brown on the same team—that's very scary. Um, again, here's AJ Brown once again. He's talking about Julio Jones in this one. Um, we won't watch that. And then we have tight end um, Pinkney here. Another interview. So nothing too special. And that's gonna do it. So. Um, really the key takeaways and notes I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and add on today um, obviously Bradley Moore unfortunate for him uh, Josh Reynolds again was not there today um, Guskowski might be getting a phone call um, that's all I'm going to say uh, but McCann 
missed from 33 and 42, who was the guy that I thought was going to get the job. And then I believe it's Hubel, Habel, whatever his name is. Uh, he missed horribly from 50. So um, that's the, uh, the tweet from Paul Kaharski. Um, uh, so that's just something that we need to take note on. The kicker is a very important position in football. Uh, they normally score the most points for your team throughout the year. So, you know, you want a guy that can put it through the uprights. And we just don't – the two guys we have, um, they're, they're struggling right now. And, and it's, it's, it's going to be a whole lot different in game. Uh, so, you know, we also worked out another kicker today uh, from, I believe he was from the Canadian Football League. Um, don't even want to try and pronounce his name, but Liram Hajrulahu. That was pr absolutely butchered, I already know, but I tried my best. Um, he had a workout with us today. Um, don't know how that went. Haven't heard anything on it, um, but, you know, I just want a guy that can kick balls through the upright and, you know, can stay on the team. Uh, I just want a guy that we can bring in for the next 10 years and we can trust. Like a Justin Tucker. Obviously, Justin Tucker is a very, very talented guy. But we just got to get a kicker that's very, very, um, you know, consistent. Put the ball to the uprights for us. Um, uh, we already talked about Derek Roberson leaving. Uh, we had a little bit of, this is from Tehran, Davenport. Uh, altercations today. Nate Davis and Tier Tart got into it. That's what you want to see at training camp. This is not a bad thing. This is definitely a good thing. Competition is what you want to see at training camp, especially with this team. The Tennessee Titans have literally only maybe three positions that they need to figure out who's going to be starting there, and that's probably right tackle. Uh, definitely right tackle. They got to figure that out. So right tackle, I would probably say some cornerback position, whether it be cornerback one, two, three, somewhere in there. They got to figure something out there, and then obviously kicker. Um, so you talk about only three positions because you look around at the offense. You already know quarterback, running back, receivers. You already got your first three. Uh, then maybe decide on wide receiver four, but really that's pretty deep into the roster. Uh, you know who your fullback is. Uh, we know who our entire offensive line is except for right tackle. We know who our tight end is with Anthony Ferkser. So the offense is pretty much, we already know what it's going to be looking like except for right tackle. And then you move on to the defense. Uh, obviously outside guys you're going to have <clears throat> Excuse me, you're going to have Bud Dupree, you're going to have Harold Landry. Inside of them, there's going to be Danico Autry, Big Jeff. Um, you know, inside linebackers, uh, you're going to have Rashawn Evans, um, Jayon Brown. You're going to have safeties, Imani Hooker, Kevin Byard, cornerbacks. Like I said, that's really the only, you know, interesting question mark on defense there. So, like I said, you got a lot of positions that are pretty much already we know who's going to be starting there. Um, and with this competition, that's what you want to see because you got guys competing even when they really don't have to compete because there's already pretty much positions locked up. Um, so that's awesome to see. Competition is always what you want to see. Um, uh, also got word on Nate Davis and David Quisenberry yanking helmets with Danico Archer and Big Jeff. Don't know if that was anything like being funny or if that was real, really serious. But either way, it's, it's all good because... You want to see competition, and you want to see if it's competition, that's great. And if they're just being funny, hey, that's what teammate, you know, you want to have that, you know, build that good team chemistry by yanking helmets, I guess. I don't know. Um, but you guys get what I'm saying. Interception count for the Titans so far. Uh, Breon Borders is still leading here with three, but Jack Rabbit had two today, so that put him up there as well. And then Amani Hooker also has two. Breon Borders picked off, has picked off every quarterback. So he's picked off Ryan Tannehill, he's picked off Deshaun Kaiser, and he's picked off Logan Woodside. So that's pretty impressive. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, defense has been playing great. Uh, or ha ha I should say today it was a great day for the defense. But, yeah, guys, with that being said, that's all the notes I wanted to cover today. I feel like we got through that pretty quickly. Um... But yeah, again, like I said, link will be in the description if you want to watch any of these interviews. Uh, but with that being said, let me know your comments on today. Again, day off tomorrow, so be on the lookout uh, for day five. Well, with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.